Forcing the reproduction of enslaved people was common practice in the slave states of the U.S. The objective was to increase the number of slaves without incurring the cost of purchase and to fill labor shortages caused by the abolishment of the Atlantic slave trade. As slaves were imported from Africa, slavery was being restricted or eliminated around the world. The United States was undergoing a rapid expansion of cotton, sugarcane, and rice production in the Deep South and the West. The invention of the cotton gin enabled the profitable cultivation of short staple cotton, which could be produced more widely than any other type of cotton. The slaves in these regions were managed much like farm animals. On large plantations, enslaved families were separated for different types of labor, ripping families apart without any emotional conscience of the well-being of the slave family. They were property to be worked just like mules and horses. The prohibition on the importation of slaves into the United States after 1808 limited the supply of slaves. Slaveholders then looked at the fertility of the slave women as part of their productivity. They forced the enslaved women to have large numbers of children and it became a self-sustaining slave population. A breeding farm's function was to produce as many slaves as possible for the sale and distribution throughout the South to meet their needs. Two of the largest breeding farms were located in Richmond, Virginia and the Maryland Eastern Shore. Thomas Jefferson was president at the time. He had no problem with slavery. He literally loved his slaves failing to free even Sally Hemings' children, all six of them believed to be his, according to DNA evidence, until after his death. Slave breeding farms were also set up to increase the value of their slaves. While owners of the breeding farms and plantations in general fornicated at will with their property, they also utilized selective breeding maintaining their own large bucks and importing large male slaves for the purpose of breeding good workers for the fields. They called the children born in slavery pups, further dehumanizing those in bondage. Breeders took a great interest in the fertility and expected multiple births from the women or their value would be diminished. The slave breeding farms are mostly left out of the history books, except those that deny their existence. <laughs>